ain't no unity, ain't nobody, everybody, ain't no too many chiefs, you stay everybody, in your lane, so online, everybody. ain't no traffic. Looking at everything that was going on. This is Acorn Project! When was the real PPVEBTTV? You ain't buying no toast for the ghost, you can't post. In the heart of West Oakland lies a tapestry woven with threads of resilience, struggle, and triumph. Here, amidst the vibrant pulse of the city, two enigmatic communities stand as pillars of a complex narrative, Ghost Town and the Acorn Projects. These are not just neighborhoods, they are living, breathing entities, each with its own cadence, its own story to tell. Step into Ghost Town, and you'll find yourself immersed in the echoes of generations past, where the cobblestone streets whisper tales of forgotten dreams and unyielding perseverance. Once a bustling hub teeming with life and promise, now it stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of its inhabitants. Through the ebb and flow of time, Ghost Town has weathered storms of adversity, yet its spirit remains unbroken, its essence hauntingly beautiful. Across the tracks lies the Acorn Projects, a microcosm of urban life pulsating with raw energy and unfiltered truth. Here, amidst the towering concrete structures, every corner holds a story, every wall a mural of defiance and hope. Life in the acorn is a symphony of contradictions, where pain and joy intertwine, where struggle breeds resilience, and where the human spirit thrives against all odds. But beyond the surface lies a deeper truth, a truth woven into the very fabric of these communities, a truth of shared humanity, of interconnected destinies, and of the unbreakable bonds that transcend barriers of race, class, and circumstance. In the shadows of poverty and neglect, amidst the chaos of urban decay, there exists a beauty, a beauty born from the collective strength of those who call these streets home. The West Oakland's hood stories, Ghost Town versus Acorn. Projects is not just a tale of two neighborhoods, it is a journey into the soul of a city, a city defined by its contradictions, its struggles, and its unwavering resilience. So come, dear viewer, and embark on this odyssey through the heart of West Oakland, where every street corner holds a story and every voice a song waiting to be heard. The story of West Oakland's hood history traces back to the early to mid-20th century, when African Americans migrated from the southern United States to the Bay Area in search of better opportunities during the Great Migration. Many settled in West Oakland due to its industrial jobs and relatively affordable housing. However, racial segregation and discrimination confined them to certain areas, leading to the formation of tight-knit communities. As the years passed, West Oakland faced challenges. In the 1970s and 1980s, the neighborhood experienced a surge in gang activity. Several factors contributed to this rise. Economic struggles hit the community hard, leading to job losses and financial difficulties for many residents. Imagine an industry that once provided stable jobs began to disappear, leaving many people without work. Without employment opportunities, some turned to illegal activities as a means of survival. This desperation fueled the growth of gangs as young people sought alternative ways to support themselves and their families. These challenges hit the community hard, creating an environment where gangs thrived, hence the emergence of crack cocaine. The crack cocaine epidemic further fueled the rise of gangs. Crack cocaine, a highly addictive and potent form of the drug, flooded into neighborhoods across the country, including West Oakland. Gangs seized the opportunity to control the drug trade, leading to increased violence and crime in the area. The lure of quick money drew many into the drug trade, exacerbating the gang problem. During this period, several gangs gained prominence in West Oakland. Among them were the West Oakland D-Boys, Acorn Mob, and Ghost Town. These gangs competed for territory and control over drug distribution networks, leading to frequent conflicts and violence. They became known for their involvement in illegal movement of drugs, robberies, and other criminal activities. The West Oakland D-Boys, for example, were notorious for their involvement in the drug trade. They operated in the Acorn Housing Project, 
and were known for their violent tactics to maintain control over their territory. Similarly, the Acorn Mob and Ghost Town gangs were active in their respective neighborhoods, contributing to the overall atmosphere of lawlessness and fear. West Oakland also faced significant challenges, turf wars and violence. This violence was mostly about controlling drug territory and settling disputes. Turf wars happen when different groups or gangs fight for control over an area. In West Oakland, this often involved gangs vying for control over drug-selling spots. Because drugs were a big part of these conflicts, they were often very violent. People fought with guns, knives, and other weapons. Shootings, stabbings, and other forms of violence were common in the neighborhood. These acts of violence made life dangerous for residents. Imagine walking down the street and worrying about getting caught in the crossfire of a shootout. That's what life was like for many people in West Oakland during this time. Children couldn't play outside safely, and families lived in fear. These turf wars weren't just about drugs. Sometimes they were about respect or territory. But no matter the reason, they often ended in violence. It wasn't just the people directly involved who suffered. Innocent bystanders could also get hurt or K-Ed. The high levels of violence had a lasting impact on the community. Families lost loved ones, and many people lived with the trauma of witnessing or experiencing violence. Businesses were affected too, as customers were afraid to visit the area. Ghost Town and Acorn projects did not emerge overnight. Their origins can be traced back decades, rooted in the socioeconomic inequalities and systemic injustices plaguing their communities. Ghost Town, named after the dilapidated neighborhood it calls home, was founded in the early 1980s by a group of disillusioned youths seeking refuge from poverty and neglect. With limited opportunities and little hope for a better future, they turned to the streets, forming a tight-knit brotherhood bound by loyalty and desperation. Similarly, Acorn Projects, nestled on the other side of town, has its own tumultuous history. Originally built as low-income housing in the 1960s, the projects quickly devolved into a breeding ground for crime and despair. As generations came and went, the cycle of poverty persisted, fueling resentment and defiance among its inhabitants. It was amidst this backdrop of urban decay that Acorn Project's reputation as a haven for criminal activity took root, drawing in disenfranchised youth searching for belonging and purpose. The rivalry between Ghost Town and Acorn Projects did not emerge in a vacuum, but rather evolved over time through a complex interplay of factors, including territorial disputes, personal vendettas, and the desire for power and respect. As both gangs grew in influence and prominence within their respective neighborhoods, their paths inevitably intersected, setting the stage for a conflict that would come to define their identities and legacies. Territorial disputes lie at the heart of the rivalry between Ghost Town and Acorn Projects. In a landscape where space equates to power and control, the boundaries of each gang's territory are fiercely defended, with incursions met with swift and often violent reprisals. The streets themselves become battlegrounds, with graffiti serving as territorial markers and symbols of defiance. Every block, every alleyway, is a potential flashpoint, where the slightest provocation can escalate into a full-blown confrontation. Personal vendettas further fuel the flames of animosity between the two gangs. Feuds between individual members, often stemming from perceived slights or betrayals, can quickly spiral out of control, drawing their respective factions into a cycle of retaliation and revenge. What begins as a personal vendetta can quickly escalate into a larger conflict, as each side seeks to protect its honor and avenge its fallen comrades. Moreover, the desire for power and respect drives the rivalry between Ghost Town and Acorn projects. In a world where strength is revered and weakness is punished, each gang strives to assert its dominance and command the respect of its peers. Acts of violence and intimidation become not only means of self-defense, but also demonstrations of power, designed to instill fear in their rivals and solidify their own positions of authority. 
The dynamics of power within each gang also play a crucial role in shaping the rivalry. Hierarchies based on loyalty, seniority, and reputation dictate the internal politics of both Ghost Town and Acorn projects, with leaders vying for supremacy and underlings seeking to prove their worth. Rivalry between individual members can thus translate into broader conflicts between the gangs as a whole, as each side seeks to bolster its standing and assert its dominance over the other. Furthermore, external factors such as law enforcement crackdowns and changes in the criminal landscape can also influence the dynamics of the rivalry. Police raids, arrests, and increased surveillance can disrupt the operations of both gangs, forcing them to adapt their tactics and strategies in response. Similarly, shifts in the drug trade or the emergence of new criminal enterprises can alter the balance of power within the community, sparking new conflicts and alliances among rival factions. The rivalry between Ghost Town and Acorn projects is characterized by a relentless cycle of violence and retribution, with each side unwilling to back down or compromise. Shootouts, stabbings, and drive-by shootings are commonplace occurrences, leaving a trail of death and destruction in their wake. Innocent bystanders are caught in the crossfire, their lives forever changed by the senseless brutality of the streets. The consequences of the rivalry extend far beyond the immediate participants, impacting the broader community in profound and far-reaching ways. Businesses shutter their doors, schools become battlegrounds, and residents live in constant fear of reprisal. The social fabric of the neighborhood frays as suspicion and distrust take hold eroding the bonds of trust and solidarity, essential for collective action and progress. Breaking the cycle of violence and hostility between Ghost Town and Acorn projects will require more than just a cessation of hostilities. It will require a fundamental shift in the underlying dynamics and power structures that drive the conflict. Grassroots organizations, community leaders, and concerned citizens must work together to address the root causes of gang violence and create opportunities for reconciliation and healing. By fostering dialogue, promoting understanding, and investing in the well-being and prosperity of marginalized communities, we can begin to build a more just and equitable society where all individuals have the opportunity to thrive. The feud between Ghost Town and Acorn Projects has had far-reaching consequences for the community at large, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Innocent lives have been lost, families torn apart, and neighborhoods ravaged by the relentless tide of violence. Businesses shuttered their doors, schools became battlegrounds, and residents lived in constant fear of reprisal, afraid to speak out or seek help for fear of retaliation. Moreover, the presence of two warring gangs has had a chilling effect on economic development and social cohesion, further exacerbating the cycle of poverty and despair gripping the community. Investors shy away from investing in neighborhoods plagued by crime and instability, perpetuating a cycle of disinvestment and decline. Meanwhile, social bonds fray as suspicion and distrust take hold, eroding the sense of community and solidarity essential for collective action and progress. Despite the seemingly insurmountable challenges posed by the Ghost Town Acorn Project's feud, there remains hope for reconciliation and redemption. Grassroots organizations, community leaders, and concerned citizens are working tirelessly to address the root causes of gang violence and bridge the divide between rival factions. Through outreach programs, mentorship initiatives, and conflict resolution workshops, they seek to offer young people alternatives to the gang lifestyle and empower them to break free from the cycle of violence and despair. Additionally, efforts to improve economic opportunity and social mobility are essential for addressing the underlying inequalities and injustices that fuel gang activity. By investing in education, job training, and economic development initiatives, Policymakers can provide pathways out of poverty and create a more inclusive and equitable society where all individuals have the opportunity to thrive. The story of Ghost Town vs. Acorn Projects is a cautionary tale of the human cost of gang violence 
and the urgent need for systemic change. It is a story of pain and loss, but also resilience and hope. By confronting the root causes of gang activity and investing in the well-being and prosperity of marginalized communities, we can begin to break the cycle of violence and build a brighter future for all. The road ahead may be long and fraught with challenges, but it is a journey worth undertaking for the sake of those who have suffered and for the generations yet to come. West Oakland, like many urban neighborhoods, has experienced its fair share of challenges over the years. While gang activity may have somewhat declined compared to previous decades, the community still grapples with a myriad of issues related to poverty, crime, and access to resources. These issues, including gun violence, drug abuse, and lack of economic opportunities, continue to pose significant obstacles to the well-being and prosperity of residents. One of the most pressing issues facing West Oakland is gun violence. Despite efforts to combat it, shootings remain a frequent occurrence in the neighborhood. Many residents live in fear of becoming victims of gun violence, and the presence of firearms exacerbates tensions within the community. The proliferation of illegal guns in West Oakland contributes to a cycle of violence that is difficult to break. While law enforcement agencies work to address the problem through targeted interventions and increased patrols, the underlying factors driving gun violence, such as poverty and lack of opportunity, must also be addressed to achieve lasting change. Drug abuse is another significant challenge facing West Oakland. The neighborhood has long struggled with illegal movement of drugs and addiction, particularly in areas with high rates of poverty and unemployment. Drug abuse not only harms individuals and families, but also contributes to other social problems, including crime and homelessness. Efforts to combat drug abuse in West Oakland include substance abuse treatment programs, community outreach initiatives, and law enforcement crackdowns on drug-related crime. However, the root causes of drug abuse, such as poverty and lack of access to education and employment opportunities, must be addressed to effectively reduce drug-related issues in the community. Poverty is a pervasive issue in West Oakland, with many residents living below the poverty line and struggling to make ends meet. High unemployment rates, lack of affordable housing, and limited access to quality education and health care contribute to the cycle of poverty in the neighborhood. Despite economic development efforts aimed at revitalizing West Oakland, disparities persist, and many residents continue to face barriers to economic opportunity. Addressing poverty requires a comprehensive approach that includes job creation, affordable housing initiatives, and investment in education and workforce development programs. Access to resources is another challenge facing West Oakland residents. Many parts of the neighborhood lack essential services and amenities, such as grocery stores, healthcare facilities, and recreational opportunities. This lack of access to basic resources exacerbates existing inequalities and limits residents' ability to lead healthy and fulfilling lives. Community-led initiatives aimed at improving access to resources, such as urban agriculture projects and mobile healthcare clinics, have made strides in addressing these issues. However, more work is needed to ensure that all residents have access to the resources they need to thrive. Despite these challenges, West Oakland is a resilient community with a strong sense of identity and pride. Residents, community organizations, and local leaders continue to work together to address the neighborhood's most pressing issues and create positive change. By investing in education, economic development, and community empowerment initiatives, West Oakland can build a brighter future for generations to come. While the road ahead may be challenging, the spirit of resilience and determination that defines West Oakland will undoubtedly guide the community toward a better tomorrow. Despite facing numerous challenges, community organizations and activists in West Oakland have shown remarkable dedication and resilience in addressing issues such as poverty, crime, and lack of opportunities. These individuals and groups have worked tirelessly to implement initiatives aimed at improving the overall well-being of the neighborhood.
One of the key areas of focus for community response efforts in West Oakland has been gang intervention. Recognizing the detrimental impact of gang violence on the community, organizations have implemented various programs aimed at preventing youth from joining gangs and providing support to those who wish to leave. These programs often involve mentorship, counseling, and job training, providing alternatives to a life of crime and violence. Youth outreach has also been a priority for community organizations. Recognizing the importance of investing in the future generation, these groups have implemented programs aimed at providing educational support, recreational activities, and mentorship opportunities for young people in West Oakland. By engaging with youth and providing them with positive role models and opportunities for personal growth, these programs aim to steer them away from negative influences and towards a brighter future. Economic development has been another area of focus for community response efforts in West Oakland. Recognizing the link between economic opportunity and community well-being, organizations have worked to create job opportunities, support small businesses, and promote economic empowerment within the neighborhood. These efforts not only help to alleviate poverty, but also contribute to the overall revitalization of the community. Despite the challenges they face, community organizations and activists in West Oakland have demonstrated a remarkable commitment to improving conditions in the neighborhood. Through initiatives focused on gang intervention, youth outreach, and economic development, these individuals and groups are working to create a safer, more prosperous future for all residents of West Oakland. Their efforts serve as a testament to the power of community action in addressing complex social issues and building stronger, more resilient communities. Efforts were made to address the violence, including increased policing and community programs. But it took time to see significant changes. It wasn't until the late 1990s and early 2000s that the violence began to decrease thanks to a combination of factors including community efforts, changes in law enforcement strategies, and economic development initiatives. Today, while West Oakland still faces challenges, the levels of violence are much lower than they were in the 1980s and 1990s. But the scars of those turbulent years remain, a reminder of the toll that turf wars and violence can take on a community. The escalation of gang activity had devastating effects on the community. Residents lived in fear of violence and retaliation, and innocent bystanders often became victims of gang-related incidents. Families were torn apart as young people were drawn into gang life, leading to cycles of poverty and crime. Efforts to address the gang problem in West Oakland were challenging. Law enforcement struggled to contain the violence and dismantle the gang's operations. Community organizations and leaders worked to provide alternatives to gang involvement, such as education and job training programs. However, the root causes of the issue, such as poverty and substance abuse, remain in deeply entrenched. The rise of rivalry between Ghost Town and Acorn projects is a testament to the profound impact of socioeconomic inequality, systemic injustice, and neglect on marginalized communities. It is a story of pain and loss, but also resilience and hope. By confronting the root causes of gang violence and investing in the well-being and prosperity of our most vulnerable citizens, we can begin to heal the wounds of the past and build a brighter future for all. The road ahead may be long and fraught with challenges, but it is a journey worth undertaking, for the sake of those who have suffered and for the generations yet to come.